Consisting of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, the United Kingdom, UK, has long been one of Europe's most popular tourist destinations. The country's appeal has much to do with its diverse scenery and rich cultural heritage. The best places to visit in the UK include everything from beautifully preserved country estates and castles to its many world-class art galleries and museums. Plan your sightseeing adventures with our list of the best places to visit in the UK. Number 1. London, the UK's all-in-one destination. While it's possible to plan a trip to the UK without visiting London, it's certainly not to be advised. The nation's sprawling capital boasts plenty of attractions to keep you busy and beautiful resorts and hotels to make you comfortable. For those interested in learning more about the UK's rich history, one of the top things to do in London is visit the Tower of London. Located beside the spectacular Tower Bridge on the banks of the River Thames, this former palace and prison includes highlights such as the iconic 1,000-year-old White Tower, with its fascinating displays of armor and weaponry, and the Jewel House, home to the Crown Jewels. Fans of Britain's royal family will want to head to Buckingham Palace, London's royal home since Queen Victoria's reign. Here, you can enjoy the colorful pomp of the changing of the guard, or even take a tour of the palace's staterooms. Be sure to book in advance as they're only open for a few weeks each year. The city's Whitehall Road area is another must, where you'll find Big Ben and the Parliament buildings, as well as Westminster Abbey, scene of many a royal wedding. Another area to visit in London is South Kensington, home to the city's best museums, including the Victoria and Albert Museum and the Natural History Museum, as well as the famous Harrods department store. Also check out Trafalgar Square, home to iconic Nelson's Column, and the National Portrait Gallery. Number 2. Edinburgh, Scotland's Capital One of Scotland's most attractive cities, the capital city of Edinburgh is also one of the UK's most visited destinations. Popular for its many well-preserved historic buildings, Edinburgh is perhaps best known as the home of the majestic Edinburgh Castle. Perched high above the old city on a rocky promontory, this 13th-century royal fortress includes highlights such as the famous One O'Clock Salute, held daily at Half Moon Battery, as well as the Scottish Crown Jewels in the Royal Palace. Also worth seeing are the Scottish National War Memorial and the famous Stone of Destiny, the Stone of Scone, only returned to Scotland after being held for 700 years in London. From the castle, it's easy to explore the other most important historic sites in the city, most notably the Old Town's Royal Mile with its fine architecture, boutique shops, cafes, restaurants, and art galleries. It's also where you'll find the splendid Old Palace of Holyrood House. Other Edinburgh highlights include Broad Prince's Street, popular for its shopping and dining, as well as for the Royal Botanical Garden and the National Gallery of Scotland. Number 3. Roman Era Bath Although one of the UK's smaller cities, Bath more than makes up for its diminutive size with a multitude of things to see and do. Named after its famous Roman baths, this beautiful city has been luring visitors to its healing waters for more than 2,000 years. Gushing from three hot springs, the water known to consist of 43 different minerals, hence its curative properties, travels upwards some 3,048 meters at a rate of 275,000 gallons per day, before spilling out at a consistent 46.5 degrees Celsius. While it's not possible to bathe in the original Roman baths, a number of nearby spas, most notably the superb Thermobath Spa, offer guests the chance to enjoy the city's famous waters. 
In addition to its ancient history, Bath is also famous for its lovely Georgian architecture. The best examples can be seen along the magnificent curved Royal Crescent with its palatial townhomes. One of them, No On Royal Crescent, is now a museum that offers a fascinating peek into life during Georgian times. Ancient Stonehenge and Medieval Salisbury One of the planet's oldest World Heritage Sites, Stonehenge has been a place of pilgrimage for more than 4,500 years. It was believed to have been erected as a place of worship, but these days, the crowds consist of tourists drawn by the sheer scale of this magnificent monument to mankind's ingenuity. It's a sprawling site, covering an area of more than 20 square kilometers and boasting a state-of-the-art visitor center. Here, you can catch a fascinating glimpse not only into the construction of Stonehenge, but also its history since then. Plan ahead and purchase a timed ticket for the day of your visit. Be sure to also spend time exploring the nearby medieval city of Salisbury, located just 16 kilometers south of Stonehenge. You'll be rewarded with a chance to visit one of the country's most famous cathedrals, dating back to 1220 and home to an original Magna Carta. Afterwards, be sure to wander the old city center with its many fine churches and historic medieval architecture. Number 5. Royal Windsor The historic town of Windsor, conveniently located a short train ride west of London, offers plenty of fun things to do for tourists. In addition to its lovely Thames side setting and the many medieval half-timbered buildings along its quaint old cobblestone laneways, it's also home to spectacular Windsor Castle, the most famous of the UK's royal castles. This grand old castle has served as the summer residence of British royalty for more than a millennium. It was started by William the Conqueror in 1078 and is the world's largest inhabited castle. Highlights include the splendid state apartments containing the Queen's Gallery and Dining Hall, each with magnificently painted ceilings and wood carvings, and Street George's Chapel, famous as the home of the knights and ladies of the ancient Order of the Garter. When you've had your fill of these historic buildings, be sure to also spend time exploring the castle's large and beautiful grounds, almost 10 kilometers long. You'll enjoy some truly memorable panoramic views over Windsor and its castle. Number 6. Idyllic England, the Cotswolds. Covering almost 1,287 square kilometers of pristine countryside, the beautiful Cotswolds is undoubtedly one of the most photographed corners of England. Its unrivaled pastoral scenery has earned it a reputation as one of the most beautiful places in the UK, ranking highly on many a traveler's bucket list. Easy to get to from London, and close to the popular tourist attractions of Bath and Bristol. The Cotswolds includes some of the best parts of the counties of Oxfordshire, Gloucestershire, Somerset, Wiltshire, Warwickshire, and Worcestershire. Travelers flock here to experience a true taste of rural English life and to explore its many quaint villages and idyllic pasture lands. Be sure to include the idyllic village of Gordon on the Water on your Cotswolds itinerary. Nicknamed the Venice of the Cotswolds, it has a charming river setting and well-preserved cottages, some dating back to the 15th century that just beg to be photographed. One of the most popular ways to do this is via the area's extensive trail network, including the excellent 16-kilometer long Cotswold Way.
Number 7. The Magical Lake District Located in the northeast of England, not far from the border with Scotland, the spectacular Lake District in Cumbria covers an area of 1,448 square kilometers. Not only is it considered one of the most magical places to visit in the UK for its beautiful scenery, its reputation as a place of romance and great culture will forever be associated with its most famous former resident, Beatrix Potter. In fact, it was Potter who led the way with the conservation efforts that have preserved so much of the Lake District when she bequeathed her estate to the National Trust. Her one-time home near Surrey, Hilltop, can and should be visited for its exhibits and artifacts. Her legacy also set the stage for the establishment of Lake District National Park, encompassing 12 of the country's largest lakes Windermere and Ulswater are the biggest. This beautiful region is another famous place in the UK that's great to explore on foot. All told, the park boasts more than 3,218 kilometers of hiking and walking trails. Number 8. Medieval York and its Minster One of Northern England's most popular tourist destinations, the medieval city of York, long the ecclesiastical capital of the Church of England, boasts one of the country's most magnificent cathedrals. The country's largest medieval church, York Minster, can trace its roots back to the spread of Christianity in the 3rd century. Although the splendid present Gothic structure was built almost 1,000 years later, highlights of a tour include the opportunity to view its 14th century stained glass windows, plus the richly decorated interiors of the choir and north transept. Also worth a visit is the crypt, which contains parts of the original 11th century church the cathedral now stands on. Other landmarks worth exploring are the ancient city walls, which stretch almost 5 kilometers around the old medieval city center. Along the way, you'll enjoy excellent views over the shambles, a narrow 14th-century roadway, famous for its fine old timber-framed buildings, many of which hang over the street below. It's also an area known for its many restaurants and tea rooms, as well as its many boutique shops and galleries. Number 9. The University Towns of Cambridge and Oxford The UK has long been a centre of learning, with two of its most famous university towns also ranking highly as tourist destinations. An easy commute north of London and just 128 kilometers apart, Cambridge and Oxford have for centuries been rivals for the title as the country's top academic establishment, a rivalry celebrated during the famous rowing event, the boat race, which takes place each spring on the River Thames. Despite this generally good-spirited rivalry, each location offers plenty of attractions to make them worthwhile additions to your UK travel itinerary. Highlights of a visit to Cambridge include the chance to wander the UK's largest collection of preserved historic buildings, many of them located within an easy walk of Cambridge University's 31 colleges, the oldest of which was founded in 1284. In addition to touring the stunning college grounds, only a handful of the university's buildings offer tours. Visitors to Cambridge should also take a punt along the river camp, as well as explore the Old Town Centre. Number 10. Loch Ness and Inverness Despite the fact that the legends of mythical monsters have largely been debunked, just don't tell the locals, spectacular Loch Ness remains an extremely popular tourist attraction for travelers heading to Scotland. While it's unlikely you'll encounter any monsters, you will, however, be rewarded with seeing some of the UK's most beautiful scenery. Highlights of Loch Ness include the ruins of Urquhart Castle, Said overlooking the loch, 
It's one of Scotland's largest fortifications. The current structure dates from the 14th century. For those wanting to learn more about the area's many legends, the Loch Ness Center and Exhibition recounts its history, along with that of its monster, including details of ongoing searches for the elusive creature. A little farther north is Inverness. This lovely city boasts numerous excellent attractions, including Inverness Castle, the Inverness Museum and Art Gallery, and the late 19th century street Andrews Cathedral. History buffs should also check out the Culloden Battlefield and Visitor Center. It was in Culloden in 1746 that the English and Scots fought their last battle and where the fate of Scotland as a British dominion was determined. Number 11. Liverpool, home of the Beatles. Liverpool, under three hours away from London by rail, offers plenty of cultural excitement for the curious traveler. It's also well known for its role in giving rise to the English music legacy, not least because of its association with the Beatles. Music fans are drawn here first and foremost for Fab Four related attractions such as the Beatles story located in the renovated Albert Docks area. Also worth seeing are the famous Cavern Club, where the band made its debut in 1961, as well as the former homes of John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Numerous walking tours and bus tours of Beatles sites are also readily available. Other great reasons to visit Liverpool include its many historic buildings, lovely gardens and parks, as well as great museums, such as the Merseyside Maritime Museum, the Museum of Liverpool, and world-class art galleries like the Walker Art Gallery and the Tate Gallery. Number 12. Manchester, England's football mad city. Thanks to its international airport, Manchester is often the first stop for many visitors planning to explore northern England, Scotland, or Wales. It's especially popular for fans of the sport of football, that's soccer to those from the US. Manchester is, in fact, home to two top football clubs, Manchester United and Manchester City. Both are well represented in the must-visit National Football Museum, as are other popular teams from around the UK, along with displays of memorabilia, trophies, and clothing. Fun short movies explain the sport's history and capture many of its defining moments. Be sure to also visit at least one Manchester club stadium too. The best known is Manchester United's Old Trafford grounds, though Manchester City's Etihad Stadium is also worth seeing. Both offer fascinating tours and behind-the-scenes access. Better still, try to visit when there's a game on. Other notable things to see and do in Manchester include Castlefield, popular for its well-preserved Victorian houses, canals, and Roman ruins. It's also popular to explore on foot for its many old warehouses now serving as trendy shops, hotels, and restaurants. The Channel Islands Although just 14 miles offshore from France, the Channel Islands have been a British territory since 1066. One of the most picture-perfect destinations in the country, it not only boasts a milder climate, but offers a great place to visit that doesn't get the large crowds like other parts of the country. The Channel Islands comprise Jersey, the largest island, Guernsey, Alderney, Sark, and Herm, the smallest along with numerous other even tinier islands. 
The intrepid traveler will also be rewarded with everything from quaint seaside towns and villages to explore historic castles and ruins, sometimes one and the same, as well as outdoor adventures and wildlife spotting. As for getting here, the Channel Islands are well served by ferries from mainland England, as well as short flights from most major British airports. Number 14. Glasgow and Loch Lomond the Scottish city of Glasgow is a great place to visit for those who enjoy a mix of cultural attractions and the great outdoors. Once you've had your fix of historic sites, such as Glasgow Cathedral and the Museums of the University of Glasgow, among others, head out to explore nearby Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond was dubbed the Queen of Scottish Lakes by famed writer Walter Scott, and it's here you'll see Ben Lomond and the beautiful Trossachs countryside. Trossachs National Park includes Loch Lomond itself and covers some 720 square miles of prime hiking and biking country. It's also popular for its fishing and boating, including sailing, canoeing, and kayaking. For true outdoor enthusiasts, Loch Lomond is the perfect spot for a wild camping adventure. It's safe, you're never too far away from people if you need them, and it's even more beautiful when you have it all to yourself. Number 15. Belfast Once omitted from the itineraries of most travelers to the UK, Belfast, capital city of Northern Ireland, has in recent years become something of a must-see destination. Not only are there numerous historic attractions and cultural experiences to enjoy, but the city's people have the same welcoming attitude that the European nation of Ireland to the south is known for. One of the city's top claims to fame was its role in the building of the ill-fated ocean liner RS Titanic. This connection is celebrated and memorialized in the city's Titanic Quarter, home to the impressive Titanic Belfast attraction. Here, you can explore interactive exhibits that deal not only with the vessel, but the thousands of people involved in its construction and ultimately its sinking. you enjoyed our journey through some of the best places to visit in the UK. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Thank you for watching.